hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to chat you through my tips for how to save money on groceries I've kind of raided my fridge and my pantry for some items to talk you through some of the tips that have helped me save loads of money over the years and as always I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has loads more tips and ideas and usually in a more coherent manner than I kind of babble on in these videos giving you all my ideas everything is in the blog post down below so have a read through it pin book mark and save it for when you need some money saving tips and feel free to share it with your friends family to give them some inspiration too and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know your money saving tips i look forward to reading them in the comments so to start with before i even go grocery shopping i do a bit of a stock take i look in my fridge my freezer my pantry what can i use what needs to be used to make meals this week so that you can re reduce your food waste there's nothing worse than buying food and finding it ends up in the bin because you forget to use it so doing regular stock takes and i find if veggies are nearing their best I'll make a nice pot of soup to enjoy as meals but chatting you through what I've got here I'm going to start on the side here with the mushrooms I just went to Aldi this morning and they always have weekly special offers on and this week 49 cents were mushrooms so I grabbed a few bags of those I'm going to turn them into soup mushroom omelets have them on the side with breakfasts maybe make a mushroom risotto but I kind of so I first like to take my stock take then I will meal plan but I do allow for some wiggle room when I get into the supermarket and that was mushrooms this week so I got loads of mushrooms so I changed my meals around a little bit mentally knew what I was what else I needed what I could take off of my list but yeah mushrooms were on special this week when you're meal planning Get a hold of your supermarkets catalogs have a look what's on special have a look what's in season google your area in season this month because when something's in season it'll be cheaper and you'll be able to just enjoy it in meals and save money too now when i'm actually at the shop i always look out for these yellow sticker offers this is grated cheese it was three euro but it was 75 cents because it was used by I got home and I stuck it straight in the freezer. It's all freezer cold. I'm going to pop it back in the freezer after this. You can use frozen grated cheese in, I actually just use them in cheese omelets. You can use them in cheese casseroles. You can't really eat it raw. I just use it straight from the freezer and melt it. So either in an omelet, cheesy scrambled eggs, <laughs> excuse the sirens in the background. It's a siren kind of day. Sorry, I'm not sure if it's coming across. But anyhow, um, the... <laughs> cheese was three euro 75 cents i in the last uh, few weeks months or actually all, all through last few many many years i always look out for my yellow sticker bargains and i've saved so much that way i've been finding meat half price lately and i just buy it half price either pop it in the freezer or use it straight away depending on my meal plan but you definitely can find loads of bargains that way and this just lives in the freezer and it saved me loads and yeah i've got a few bags of those they'd reduced um another tip is to buy in bulk it's kind of obvious but really buying in bulk this yogurt i got get from ld my kids love it buying it in bulk is cheaper than buying the smaller cartons so have a look compare the unit price i'm not sure other countries but in ireland they tell you the unit price they show the unit price i'm sure there's apps and calculators nowadays that you can work out what the unit unit price is per gram or per ounce and then you can just choose the cheaper option which is often in bulk uh, as long as you're going to use it then it's definitely a cheaper option um, a few of these are more carby if you've watched my channel for a while you know I'm more low carb but I have two kids who are 11 and 13 years old and they are hungry little boys almost little men that are always hungry always wanting to snack so I get things like popcorn to a snack for them to snack on making homemade popcorn is super easy and it's so much cheaper making it yourself whether it's making popcorn yourself or granola bars i've got a recipe on my blog for four ingredient granola bars which my kids absolutely adore so i've always keep oats as well to make granola bars for them it's so much cheaper this was two euro for this huge package of 
oats which will last me a good few months and it's so much cheaper I mean two euro will barely get me a package of four granola bars this will keep me in granola bars for months and months and months and you could make oatmeal as well if you like oatmeal there's lots of other ways to enjoy oats but yeah getting some foods that you can make snacks yourself will save you so much money and just google how to make them on my on my blog that I do have recipes for granola bars and homemade popcorn which we make I make for my kids fairly often they have movie nights I'll make popcorn for them when they're just snacking I'll make popcorn for them they love popcorn so that's what I get and it's definitely saved heaps of money other staples I kind of always keep to hand peanut butter both of my kids adore peanut butter and I've usually other I'll put it on rice cakes I buy sourdough for them once a week or so and they'll have some bread with some peanut butter or in a wrap I keep a few things in the pantry that they can that we don't have to get through too quickly because we're not really big bread eaters but having peanut butter it's a good protein source and yeah whenever it's on on sale I'll get a whole lot of them and then I've got peanut butter to last through and tuna well, one of my kids will eat tuna happily out of the tin so I always like to keep tuna to hand because then I can kind of bulk out meals make leftovers last further because one of my kids will happily eat tuna he can have a tin of tuna <laughs> the rest of us can have leftovers it just makes it means less meals that we have to make less spending and it just makes everything go a little bit further I like keeping butter to hand <laughs> this lovely Irish butter whatever your oil butter of choice keep an eye for when it's on special buy as many as you can either afford or have space for so that you kind of don't run, run out and you can always mix and match and make meals. We use it in cooking, in all sorts of things, but having butter to hand is kind of important for me. And I've got rice over here, whether you like rice, pasta, whatever you like. Again, I like to actually make meals go further. If there's only a little bit left over of a meal, I might make a risotto the next day with the leftovers. We'll have a risotto. My other kid will have tuna. We're all good, but tuna, uh, rice, pasta, whatever you like as a carby side if you've got a bit of rice we we're not really bean eaters but if you like beans if you've got rice beans you can make some meals if you need to stretch your budget a little bit further and you can keep them to hand but we have rice that's the one that we have so yep and the final one is peanuts <laughs> this is Aldi's peanuts I love Aldi I went to Aldi today most of this was from Aldi these are Aldi's peanuts another snack that my kids really enjoy so peanuts or nuts usually can be quite expensive so these the 95 cents a bag it'll last about a week my kids will have a handful every day or so as a snack it's nice and full of protein but knowing that we've got extra in the pantry means that we've always got a nice healthy snack to go but yeah as I've mentioned through this video I like to shop at Aldi I also shop here in Ireland there's a store called Dunn store and I shop there a lot I get loads of vouchers there have a look at coupons have a look at stores loyalty programs worth Dunn's when you spend 50 euro you get 10 euro off your next shop I just keep in mind the expiry date and then I get 10 euro off my shops I go walk around the shops with my calculator when you're shopping on a budget it's really good to have the calculator so you kind of know where you stand I have my calculator on my phone I will walk around the shop adding everything on and when I've got my 50 euro shops I'll make sure it's just over 50 euro so I'm spending exact and I know as I'm, I've done my whole shop, if I've got four, done 45 euro and I've got 5 euro left, I'll go and get some tuna and peanut butter to make up the difference. If it ends up being over, I'll have a look and see what I can maybe pop back in, leave, leave this week and get the following week. It just makes it so much easier if you're calculating as you go with your calculator. And I also usually try and shop by myself because... It ends up saving money <laughs> when you shop with your kids and your husband you might find that they add little things to your trolley or your shopping cart as you go when I shop by myself I get what's on the list I stick to it and then I am done you might also actually just prefer to shop online have a look I found when you are a new shopper with online food grocery stores shopping you can sometimes get free delivery and discounts so it might mean that you save money because you're not distracted and not tempted by all the other offers so I do make a budget each week 
but I leave a little wiggle room for items like this and as I said walking around with my calculator definitely helps because then I just know how much I'm going to spend and it helps me to save money so I hope these tips have helped you for how to shop and save on your groceries be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment to let me know your favorite tips for saving money on groceries and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has loads more tips and ideas to help you and let me know if you like these kinds of videos i really pride myself on spending as little as possible on possible on food each week and i've got loads of money saving tips i've shared a lot in this video uh, that i can think of if you want more videos like this and more tips let me know and i'll be happy to share them so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye